Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the celebration of Orano to Orion, 20 years and beyond. I'm Nicole Herdebees. I'm the Senior Program Manager for Training and Product Marketing at Orion. You will have noticed already that this webinar is being recorded. You've also likely already noticed that your audio and video functions are a little bit more limited than normal this afternoon. You are very welcome, however, to contact the host or any of us panelists with your comments or questions throughout um, the session using the Zoom chat feature. If you run into any issues with technical difficulties, you can email info at orion.on.ca, or you can send a direct message via Zoom to Orion webinar, and the lovely Eleanor will do her very best to help you out as soon as possible. You can also refer to the instructions that came through your email with the reminder information. Um, with that, we have all of the important but necessary details taken care of. Let's really get to the important and good stuff, shall we? It is my pleasure to introduce our first presenter and the chair of the Orion Board of Directors. Please welcome Jim Garner. Thanks, Eleanor. And good afternoon and welcome everyone. It is such a pleasure to have so many of you with us here today to recognize the 20th anniversary of Orion's founding in 2001. My name is Jim Garner, and it is my privilege to serve as Orion's board chair. I've been a member of, the Orion, of Orion's board for many, many years now, and I've witnessed our evolution firsthand from a research and education network to Ontario's innovation platform. You'll hear a lot about that transformation today. Today, we're here to celebrate 20 years of this kind of evolution. We were founded originally as Orano and began as a very small organization serving just colleges and universities. If you can believe it, our first constituent connections were at a meager 10 megabit, megabits per, sec per second, unthinkable today. Over time, we became known as Orion. Our network is now 6,000 kilometers long, from Thunder Bay in the west to Ottawa in the east, from Timmins in the north to Windsor in the south. Our capacity today is a thousand times faster than it was on our first day. And we've expanded our service offerings quite significantly to meet the needs of our community. And we've grown our community. Now, in addition to colleges and universities, we serve hospitals, school boards, regional innovation centers, research institutes, advanced research computing facilities, libraries, and educational content providers, all of which are key players in Ontario's innovation community. It's been quite a journey and we're so excited to, to think that there is so much more to come in the future. It's now my pleasure to welcome and introduce Dr. Deborah McClatchy, President and Vice Chancellor of Wilfrid Laurier University, and also a fellow Orion board member to say a few words. Deb, thanks for being with us today. Uh, thank you very much, Jim, and it really has been a journey. I joined Orion's board in 2018, and as a member of Orion's board, I can say that my eyes have been open to the infrastructure that supports research, education, and innovation in Ontario. Many of us never think about the critical nature of this advanced technology. It's like the air we breathe. We don't notice it until it's not there. This year, I was involved in creating Orion's strategy for the next few years. Many of you here today will have been a part of that as well. I know that input came from all parts of this community because we all have a stake in how this organization evolves. Today, we'll hear about the future of this shared advanced platform, the future we all helped inform. We'll hear how Orion will sustain and protect its value for all of us in Ontario's research, education, and innovation sector. We'll understand how Orion uh, works as a part, key part of the national network and how we'll all build on trusted community partnerships, leading transparent conversations, strengthening our inclusive culture of purpose 
and connection. Because our digital and real life community is built on this kind of collaboration. And the journey continues. Welcome to the celebration. Thank you, Jim and Deborah, for those very warm words of introduction. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, our next presenter, who's going to share with us the full story of Orano to Orion. Please welcome Orion President and CEO, Alfonso Licata. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, thank you, Nicole, Jim, Deb, and everyone on this uh, webinar today. Thank you all for joining us as we look back over the last uh, 20 years and uh, into the future and what that may mean. Orion is about community. And today we want to share some highlights of how Orion, together with this incredible community of institution, researchers, innovators, are facilitating new discoveries and learning that ultimately make the world a better place. I joined Orion in 2016. And over that time, I've had the honor to witness the growth of the community, the network, and this wonderful organization. Preparing for this, I was reflecting on what the highlights of this time have been for me. And just to pick a few, uh, the collaboration has been at the heart of all of these achievements. From particip participating and partnering with IBM in providing SPSS licenses to academic institutions in Ontario, to the deep collaboration with the community on cybersecurity and what has grown from the first eight institutions known as the G8 to a suite of tailored cybersecurity services and programs that reflect the needs of this community. To the Connecting Northern Ontario Research and Education Community Report and to the work of the Rural Remote Advisory Group addressing connectivity and equity in Ontario, a cause and a program that is very close to me. It's been an absolute privilege to work with this community and the amazing team at Orion. And I can only look forward to what we will achieve over the next 20 years. Today, we are here to celebrate the incredible Orion community and the journey we've been on together. This community is Orion. We invited some of you who have been on this journey with us to be part of the celebration and to share a few words. Hello, I'm John Levy from Niagara College and I just want to wish Orion a very happy 20th anniversary. Happy anniversary, Orion. Congratulations on your 20th anniversary, Orion. Congratulations on your anniversary, 20 years. That's an accomplishment as an organization. Congratulations, Orion, on 20 years of supporting Ontario's digital infrastructure. Happy 20th anniversary, Orion. Happy anniversary, Orion. 20 years is quite an achievement for any technology organization. Congratulations, Orion, on your 20th anniversary. You have become so much more than just the advanced network you were originally created to be. Orion is Ontario's key digital community for research and education, a trusted partner advocating on behalf of our community and champion of innovation wherever it's found across our province. You have enabled and advanced innovation, and you have done so by creating, connecting, and collaborating. I'm so proud to have been part of your journey. One of the first community members I met when I started Canary in 2010 was the CTO of Orion. He demonstrated a great collaborative spirit, and since then we've been on an amazing journey together, supporting the Canadian and global research and education communities. Orion has always been one of my favorite organizations to deal with over the past couple of decades. First of all, they're providing a really important service for universities, colleges, and school boards. Uh, secondly, it's one of the most entrepreneurial not-for-profits I've ever seen operate. And the fact that they've come this far and been able to generate uh, that much revenue and keep growing and improving the network across the province has been uh, admirable and I think is exemplary, exemplary for most not-for-profits uh, uh, in Ontario. I've always maintained Canada and Ontario is home to some of the brightest minds on the planet, tackling humanity's wicked problems like climate change, cancer, and space exploration. None of this would be possible without the backbone of Orion's network, linking data, researchers, and ideas. 
And on behalf of the Ministry of Infrastructure, it's been my pleasure to work with your staff over the last couple of years. The incredible work that you do to continue to expand uh, connectivity uh, across the province and ensuring that people are learning uh, more effectively, are receiving health care, uh, and benefiting all from all that there is to uh, benefit from and be part of a digital world. Again, my thanks and congratulations to you all. I'm so grateful for all that you do for Ontario's researchers and Ontario's research community. We live in an age that is profoundly connected and that connection has accelerated the pace of academic and industrial research. And Orion is at the forefront, a hub node in connecting all of those researchers together. It has been wonderful to watch this network grow from a simple research and education network and transform itself into a leadership role offering a large number of collaborative services. Your work in developing cybersecurity partnerships and enabling collaboration throughout the province is valued by us at Ontario Cybersecurity Centre of Excellence. On behalf of everyone at Canary, we wish you all the best for the next 20 years and beyond, and more importantly, have a great party. Thank you for keeping us connected and safe. Uh, congratulations on making 20 years. It's exciting and uh, all the best for the next 20. We stand beside partners like Orion for the next 20 years and beyond. We look forward to working with you for many years to come. I really look forward to what the next several years will bring. Happy anniversary, Orion! Happy anniversary! 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 Happy I really am honored um, and I want to thank uh, everybody who participated and uh, we appreciate uh, uh, all that you do. Um, it's, uh, it's a real privilege uh, to be with Orion and to be uh, working with each and every one of you in, uh, in the community. As we uh, move, uh, as we move on, uh, I wanted to uh, share with you, uh, um, as you all know, Orion is uh, Ontario's only provincial research and education network. Uh, we've come a very long way since our inception back in 2001. Covering 6,000 kilometers, our dedicated network connects numerous regions and over 100 institutions throughout the province. Universities, colleges, hospitals, and research institutions, as well as many of Ontario's school boards. And of course, Orion wouldn't be where we are today without all of you in our community, the constituents that we serve and our valued partners. It goes without saying that none of this would be possible without the incredible Orion team, past and present. Let's have a look at how far we've come. In 2001, Orion was founded with an investment from the government of Ontario. We started as a small seed and over time, we built out the network, reaching more research, education, and innovation communities across Ontario. By 2003, we made our first connection between Toronto to Sudbury. This was quickly followed by many more points of presence or POPs across the province, as you can see on the map. Through this, we were able to connect our first 25 institutions. We started out with a total network capacity of three gigs per second or to keep it simple, three gig. As you can see by 2004, the network itself continued to grow, adding two more POPs in London and Toronto. With that, the community also began to grow with 40 more institutions, educators, innovators, and researchers on board. In response, network capacity also grew to four gig. In 2005, we added four more POPs in Windsor, Hamilton, Gravenhurst and Thunder Bay. The community grew again to 82 constituents and the network to five gig. By 2011, we added a new pop in Guelph and the community reached 100 constituents with a total capacity of 89 gig. Increasing our ability to share data, ideas and tools with one another and access this advanced infrastructure. 
In 2012, we added another pop in Aurelia. Our total capacity increased to 111 gig. In 2014, we added a pop at Mars and we grew the network to 173 gig. In 2015, we added a pop at Newmarket. And again, the network capacity increased to 2017 to 217 gig. The period between 2018 to 2021 was a very active period. In 2018, we started upgrades on our network to increase resiliency and enhance capacity across the province. You can see on the map those locations where we've added capacity to over 100 gig per second. With those connections, the total network capacity increased to 464 gig. We've continued to invest in the network so that today you now have a capacity of 1.2 terabytes. To create some context, in 2003, when we started at three gig per second, our network could sustain roughly about 300 simultaneous HD movie streams. Today, that's 150,000. That's an incredible amount allowing for incredible capacity and innovation. Today, we connect over 100 institutions, facilities, and organizations to one another and the world through the Orion network. Reliable and robust digital infrastructure is only becoming more and more critical to Ontario's success. Orion's role in Ontario has been growing as total bandwidth utilization continues the trend upward. While the network is key to our commitment to advancing Ontario's research, education, and innovation platform, Orion's mandate also continues to grow beyond the network. We are dedicated to enabling collaboration, forging partnerships, and ensuring that this community has the right digital tools and services to sustain, advance, and protect our vital work across the network. I want to show you how we built these alongside of the network over the past 20 years. Bringing us back to 2001, the government of Ontario helped to kickstart a self-sustaining not-for-profit. It was originally called ORANO, or the Optical Regional Advanced Network of Ontario. In 2003, as we saw earlier, our first connection between Toronto and Sudbury was completed and tested in 2003 with more connections added that year, helping us to build momentum. By 2011, we announced the first phase of a major technology upgrade, where we deployed our first 100 gig network. In 2013, we enabled upgrades from one gig to 13. This tenfold increase in network capacity allowed researchers to better connect with colleagues and contribute to projects across the country and internationally, of course. In 2015, we added internet services, providing the convenience of a single source of connectivity to the RE and internet community. In 2016, Orion joined several leading Canadian and international organizations in successfully testing the next generation ultra fast data transfer at SC16, the world's largest supercomputing conference. In 2017, we launched our shared CISO pilot, bringing together the eight higher ed institutions to collaborate on developing a common infrastructure and framework in approaching to approach uh, the cybersecurity threats and challenges met by the community. At Think 2018, we ran our first cybersecurity workshop. It was a certified chief information security officer program with a great response from our community. In 2018, Orion also received funding to build Ontario's Innovation Advanced Technology Platform in support of the 100 gig connections to the advanced research computing sites. In 2018, we established and published a suite of reports focusing on building Ontario next generation smart cities through data governance in conjunction with our partners at Compute Ontario, Mars, ICIS, and MyoVision. We also launched a host of new products and services, including Last Mile, SPSS, Orion Community Training, and OnCheck, which was the evolution of the G8. In 2020, we saw another year with great activity, 
where cybersecurity was a huge focus. We launched our two DDoS services, our cybersecurity awareness training program, and the National Cybersecurity Initiative Program in collaboration with our partners and friends at Canary and the other RANs. In 2001, we launched Orion Cloud Connect to support the ongoing transition to cloud services. This was developed in collaboration with Orion constituents and leverages our dedicated high-speed network and our pr to provide connectivity to leading public cloud services. It's pretty awe-inspiring to look back from where, where we've come and to look forward from here. As we've continued to advance the network and support the community with programs and services, we're also looking to have a positive impact on Ontario's innovation sector. This year, for our 20th anniversary, we worked with the Canadian Centre for Economic Analysis to develop a 2020-21 Social and Economic Impact Report. This provided concrete numbers to see the tangible impact that we foster. That, and we learned quite a bit, and it was quite astounding some of which we'd like to share with you today. As it relates to people, we've come to learn that nearly 1.7 million people use Orion's network, or around one in nine Ontarians, including over 1.4 million students, rely on the network daily. From economic perspective, Orion contributed over $10.1 billion in economic activity, with 94% remaining in Ontario. That's an astounding number and one we're very proud of. When looking at jobs, 102,000 jobs are directly dependent on Orion, and over 280,000 employees use Orion's network. Those jobs include the small but mighty team that make up Orion, who make this impact possible. I just want to share here how proud and honored I am to work with this incredible group of individuals. For such a small org, we are punching well above our weight, supporting an outsized number of people, jobs, and economic development. As research and innovation and technology, data, and health continue to grow in importance, Orion's role also grows. It's responsibility, it's a responsibility that we take seriously. It's a responsibility that I take seriously. We are excited to realize our goal of developing a world research, world-class research and education and innovation platform built on a trusted community. And now the journey continues. As we look at a, as we look at our organization moving forward, um, we have a, we've uh, reworked our plan and we have a culture of purpose and connection. Orion's culture supports our social purpose of trusted connection, our commitment to transparency, equity and engagement enable an international balance between an intentional balance between collaboration, inclusivity, and operational excellence and focus. From a world class research, education and innovation platform, you see Orion sustains and constantly advances the province's shared essential research, education, and innovation platform. We protect its value and performance driven by world-class standards. And from a trusted community partnership perspective, Orion connects Ontario's research, education, and innovation ecosystem through trusted, relevant community partnerships. We lead transparent, focused conversations to inform our voices for shared digital infrastructure. As you can see, our vision and strategy are simple, yet powerful and focused. They built on our core mission to bring together the input and ideas and requests of Ontario's and Canada's research, education, and innovation ecosystem. Moreover, they are designed based on direct consultation with you, our constituent community, our board, and our teams. All of you were instrumental in defining this direction. And for that, we thank you. Your voices and participation shape Orion's efforts every day. In closing, 
this takes us to the next to the end of today's celebration. And with that, I'd like to raise a toast. What an eventful 20 years it has been. I'm so looking forward to seeing what the next 20 years will be with all of you. We, all of us, are Orion. Here's to all of you, all of us, to the next 20 years. Thank you. Thank you for that, Alfonso. Wow, happy 20th anniversary, everyone. Um, this concludes our event for this afternoon. Big thanks to everyone who's able to join us, especially Jim Garner and Deb McClatchy, who are able from our board, as well as all of you, our audience. Um, you will be looking forward to seeing you all again next year at Think 2022. This will be in the spring and please keep your eyes peeled on your emails. We will be sending out information very soon. We're really excited to see everyone again in person, outside of the squares. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Orion. Thank you, everyone.